Well, Sydney, it is clear that the numbers released today from the DPD are going to change. We did a quick scan of press releases over the last couple of weeks, and we have had three fatal shootings in just the last two weeks. Tonight, the mayor urging his fellow city council members to do something. Neighborhoods are getting sprayed. They're getting sprayed. This neighborhood in East Durham is exactly what Mayor Leonardo Williams is talking about. We counted more than 50 evidence markers on Ash Street. Two juveniles were shot in a drive-by, according to investigators. We're going to have to respond somehow, some way. Today, Williams and his fellow council members got a look at the first quarter's worth of crime statistics from the DPD, which doesn't include the past two weeks of incidents seemingly every day. Another high profile one, including this at McDougal Terrace two weeks ago, where more than 100 rounds were fired. I've been in a really good mood until I have to talk about this stuff. Overall, violent crime is up, but if you drill down on the numbers themselves, it is up according to the DPD specifically because of the robbery category. 18 more robberies than there were this time last year. DPD saying a lot of those targeted the Hispanic community. Homicide numbers are down from 14 this time last year to six. Shooting incidents are down two from 223 to 147. Some of that, according to investigators, might be because of the shot spotter technology is no longer being used to ping officers to different incidents. Not that there are actually fewer incidents. Colleagues, I got to say to us, we did a really good job at figuring out why we couldn't keep shot spotter, but we don't have a real response to it. Property crimes also up 15% over last year. Much of that is due uh, because car thefts, motor vehicle thefts are up a whopping 50%, which is a national trend. We'll explore that a little bit more coming up at 6 o'clock. Stephen Sidney, back to you.